Hey everyone, welcome back to my Facebook page, Avon Life by Nicole Bordino. Thank you so much for joining me on this Thursday afternoon. I'm sorry just to like pop up on you guys. I've been really, really busy um, with having my daughter over the summer and getting things done around the house and um, preparing for Rep Fest. And so if you are a fellow Avon representative, I'm sure your hair is just like standing on end because you're getting ready for Rep Fest and I'm doing the same thing. I know you can't see it, but if you look down, I've got like all my suitcases and everything. So, oh, let me adjust my camera. So, um, I'm really busy just getting ready and packing and we're gonna make it a family trip. My husband's going to join me. My daughter is going to join me. So I'm really excited. We're gonna get to spend some time with each other. So that's going to be a lot of fun. I just wanted to let um, my customers know that I decided not to do um, a prize drawing for campaign 16 um, because my focus for campaign 16 was on recruiting. I really didn't get a lot of sales for campaign 16 and that's okay. I think I only got like two or three sales. I didn't get a lot, but I'm okay with that because my goal for campaign 16 was the share the love promotion. Um, and it is still going on. Um, I would like to thank all of the beautiful women who signed up and joined my team. I've got um, Shaniqua Johnson, um, Lorraine Warren, Ronell Chewett, uh, Monique Hayes, who else do I have? I have Lillian Perkins, and let me make sure I have everyone. Shaniqua, Lorraine, Monique, Ronell, Lillian. Oh my goodness, there's so many people. I hope that's everyone. But that was my focus. Oh, and Sharon Littles, and I posted already. I gave Sharon a really nice post. Um, but thank you so much for joining um, my small business, my Avon business. I have a lot of fun doing this. I absolutely love it. And I want you guys to join me and work your business the way you wanna work your business. You can do it a little bit, part-time, um, full-time, or wherever you would like. Hi, Lula, how are you? Lula, are you coming to Rep Fest? Because I can't wait to come to go to Rep Fest. I, I'm super excited. I'm doing this tutorial, I need to take a nap. So <laughs> I'm gonna hurry up, do this tutorial. I'm going to watch the Avon Insider because they're streaming live um, from Rep Fest from Ohio and that's at four. So I have to try to hurry up and get this wrapped up so I can watch that video at four um, and then take a nap because we're going to leave for Ohio tonight. My husband, my daughter and I, we're gonna leave tonight. We're gonna try to get there around like midnight, um, early morning, and then I'm gonna take a nap, get cleaned up and get ready for rep fest. I'm so excited. That's okay, Lula, I'll keep you posted. If you if you follow this page, Lula, I will be taking pictures and posting, and actually some of my favorite people won't be able to go. Um, my friend Nikki Curry, I really was hoping she could make it, she's not gonna be able to make it. Um, so I've got a few lovies, um, Avon lovies that aren't gonna make it, and um, I'm just gonna be grabbing some samples for them and grabbing some swag for them. If they let me take pictures at the product expo, I'm gonna take pictures. And so, yes, I will get great intel for you. Um, just follow me. Um, so a warning to everyone on this Facebook page, my business page, everyone on my personal page and everyone on my Instagram, it is going to be littered, absolutely covered in pictures from Rep Fest from Friday morning till probably well into Monday, it's gonna, it's all gonna be about Rep Fest, seriously. So I will get all the goods um, and I'll definitely be posting that. So thank you for joining me, Lula. Thanks for tuning in. Do you like my hair? It's really, really short. So I've been wanting to cut my hair for a long time, but I didn't wanna like cut it all off at once. I just did it gradually. So this is a, I'm not gonna take it any shorter. This is the shortest it's gonna get. I absolutely love it. Thank you, thumbs up. It is hot right now. It is hot in the Carolinas. Um, it's hot in the Southeast. I I like the look of long hair. Like I like long hair. I think it's very pretty. I like the look of long hair. It, I just, I don't care for it on me. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't fit my lifestyle. I need something nice and quick and I can do like a quick wash and go and 
up, boom, out the door. So um, getting back to what I was saying to my customers, you guys, I am totally focused on this Share the Love promotion, seriously. Um, I've got six um, new coworkers and I want I want more. This ends August 6th. It's going it um it's valid from July 11th to August 6th. You can start your Avon business with only $10. And yes, I am sponsoring people. I'm sponsoring people. Um so um if this is something that you want to do, please get in touch with me. Avon has um made it super super easy. For you to join the ranks for only 10 bucks i mean they've waived taxes they've waived their shipping fee it's a flat ten dollars your starter kit is going to come with 70 dollars worth of merchandise this is what you're gonna get that right there you're getting all of that for ten dollars you're gonna get the two sample kits you're gonna get um and a new ultimate sample you're going to be getting a um skin seal soft sample you're gonna get 10 lipstick bullets you're gonna get did I already say two of the sample packets, sample essentials? I'm hoping $10 will be extended. I hope so too, Lula, but I don't know. Like, I don't know if they're gonna extend it. So that's why I'm like, I am pounding away at this, let me tell you. I seriously only got like two or three sales for campaign 16 because my focus has just been like recruiting, 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 recruiting. recruiting and probably it's gonna be about the same for 18, especially, not 18, I mean 17, especially because I'm not gonna be in town, I'm gonna to be at Rep Fest. I'm really not gonna be here to work the business. It's even in Ohio, I'm gonna be like, hey, you wanna join my event team? You wanna join my event team? Total recruiting, like it's such a good deal. I really hope that they extend it, but if not, I am taking advantage of it right here, right now, getting that done. For so far, go Lula. Did you already tell me, Lula, did you, were you already in leadership before this? Um, because the reason why I'm really taking advantage of this is because this is my first venture into leadership, Lula. Um, and I, I needed to start leadership because I do want to replace my income, like my nursing income, I believe it or not, I wanna replace it. So um, my coach, told me she's like all right you've got to start recruiting now so for me this was like right on time this is what I needed to like jump start um bringing people on board so this has been incredible um for my customers who are watching do you guys like my necklace you do good grab it it is in campaign 17 which is live now campaign 17 went live yesterday and this necklace, if you really like it, it is the part of the Blue Sky Tassel Collection. And the necklace is, what did I say saying? $34.99. Can you guys see it? There it is on the pretty model, $34.99 for the necklace. These earrings aren't in there. These earrings were in the last one. These earrings were in the last campaign. Oh, no, there they are, ha ha. These earrings are here, here they are, ta-da. There they go. These are the earrings I'm wearing. They are the um, modern metals hoop earrings and these are $14.99. So jewelry, 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 earrings. You are a star promoter only. I was just a promoter at the beginning of this, um, at the beginning of this um, incentive. I was just a promoter. I wasn't even a star promoter. At least you had like one person under you. I didn't have anyone under me. So I'm really working really hard to make the best of this. And let me find fashion so I can show you guys my dress. Because you can't see it because I'm sitting down, everyone. But just so you know, in case you're wondering, this is the dress that I'm wearing. I'm wearing To The Tropics maxi dress in black. That's the dress. And the dress is $40 even. It. it's really pretty if you want it I would suggest you size down because it's it's sized big well we're on our way to ambassador Lula let me tell you you and me before this year is out we're gonna be like silver and bronze and gold ambassadors so keep me posted okay so um yeah I think that's it let me get into my tutorial, okay, you guys? Because I do need to finish. Let me put that down. I do need to finish in time for um, 
the live video, the, the Avon US Reps live video. So I've been doing live videos and I got a couple requests to do my makeup. I got a request from Rosa all the way from Valencia, Spain. She said, um, please do a makeup tutorial. And then Shayna Macklin, who is our director of social media marketing said, you really should do um, a makeup tutorial. So I really love you guys, okay? Because this is me with no makeup on, okay? Which means I love you guys a lot too come on camera live with no makeup on. Luckily for me, only one person's watching and that's Lula. So Lula, this is me without makeup. Oh wait, but people are gonna be able to watch the replay. Ooh, me without makeup, let's hurry. So um, everyone does their base differently. Some people do their foundation first, some people do their concealer first, some people do their primer first. Um, I have not tried the perfecting primer um, for all of you Avon reps out there that are using the Avon's primer, let me know what you think of it. I gotta get it. I'm slowly transitioning my makeup collection. It's right over here. I'm slowly transitioning my makeup from everything else I had to Avon, 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 Avon. So I've got a little bit of um, the primer that I've been using before. <gasps> there goes my brush. Gotta get it. We're live, you guys. Um, and I don't want to throw that out because it was kind of pricey. So I want to finish that up and then try Avon's primer. But I use for my base Avon's True Color Ideal Nude Foundation. And I'm using cinnamon. My color is normally, normally, blech, Invisalign, normally light caramel. Um, but it is summertime, it is hot, and I have gotten a tan. So what I do is I just tiger stripe my face. And this makeup is really light. So I know they say to look into the camera, but I'm sitting at my vanity, you guys. And so if I'm not looking directly at the camera, it's because I'm looking at myself in the mirror because it's much easier for me to put my makeup on looking in the mirror. So I take my makeup and I tiger stripe my face with it. And then I take my stippling brush, my blending brush, and I just blend it in. This makeup is very light. I like it a lot. It's really light. Um, your skin, you can see through to your skin. So if you've got freckles and you don't wanna, you know, totally cover up your freckles because freckles are beautiful, this is a great foundation because you, you can still see like your freckles or if you have a beauty mark or things like that. And that's it make sure that you blend your jawline so that you don't have any um, funky lines of demarcation, you know. And that's that's pretty much it. I don't like to wear a lot of foundation um, or like a heavy foundation uh, because it just doesn't look natural. Um, because I have acne and I'm a person of color, dealing with acne still as an adult i get a lot of scarring i get a lot of hyperpigmentation that leads to scarring so you'll see that um there's dark spots here and here um you know dark spots from the hyperpigmentation and i i could cover that completely um but sometimes i choose not to i like to let my skin come through because it lets your, your makeup it gives your makeup a more natural feel so I do my foundation first. Some women conceal first and then foundation. I do foundation. And then the next thing I do is I conceal under my eyes. And I'm using Avon's True Color Concealer in Deep. Looks great. I just use concealer, sensitive. Um, I would try Avon's True Color Foundation because it's, it's very light and it has not made me break out. I don't have sensitive skin, Lula. I have um, acne prone skin and I have to be very careful what I put on my skin because I've put products on my skin and while I'm wearing it, I'm okay. And then I wash it off, wash my face, go to bed and wake up the next day and my face is full of pimples. If it's a product that my skin really doesn't like, I will put my makeup on and when I go to remove it, there's pimples everywhere. So I have to be careful with my skin as well. I would say that if you have sensitive skin, um, mineral foundations are really good. I'm picking the bristles. This, this is an old brush and so it's starting to like shed its bristles, you guys. So I'm getting like these bristles all over my face. 
So I conceal under my eye and I also conceal my brow bone. And then that way, let's say you just plucked your eyebrows, there's a little bit of redness, or let's say your eyebrows just need to be plucked and you've got like a little bit of stubble. If you conceal underneath your eyebrows, you cover that up and that's really awesome. Now what else I do with my concealer is those dark spots that I was telling you about. I just gently cover them. Oh no, wait, I'm using the wrong concealer. Oh no, oops, we're live, look at that. I have to go a little bit deeper or darker for my face. When concealing acne on my face, I use Avon's True Color Concealer, but I use it in dark. This was my color. This was my color about four or five months ago, and then I tanned, and now I need um, a darker, darker makeup. And that just happens. If you're a woman of color, and I wonder if um, Caucasian women experience the same thing where they need to like change their makeup with the seasons. Um, my makeup changes with the seasons. So I'm one shade in the summertime, uh, I'm another shade in the winter, I'm another shade in the fall, another shade in the summer. So that's a lot of fun. Okay, so. Okay, cool. But Lula, I would say definitely um, try Avon's True Color Foundation. Or you can also try mineral makeup. Mineral makeup is very forgiving for people who have sensitive skin. Now what I do do is I take a little bit of concealer and I put it on my neck because I'm going to be contouring and highlighting. And so I also want to put a little bit of base around my neck because I do contour my neck, yeah, believe it or not. Now, do I wear this makeup every day? No, this is just what I wear for special occasions and for when I'm on video with you guys because makeup is what I do and you don't want somebody trying to sell you makeup that looks a mess. So let's put that down there, good. I am quickly going to do my brows, quickly, 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 I'm going to do eyebrows just brush them down and I'm going to take Avon's true color glimmer stick it's a brow pencil and brunette it's $2.99 um, and I think right now in campaign 17 the glimmer sticks are buy three for nine bucks and if you don't use the glimmer sticks man you better get on it in a world of 12 13 and $20 eyeliner and lip liners you can get the glimmer sticks and you can get three for less than ten dollars and i mean if that don't if i mean if that doesn't knock your socks off I, I don't know what to tell you i don't know what to do for you i can't help you and i'm just gonna brush them up i use a little bit of clear brow gel and i'm gonna brush them up memo to avon please bring back clear brow gel um you guys had brow gel before in different colors. You had like clear, blonde, brunette. I absolutely loved your brow gel. Loved it, adored it, used it, and then you guys discontinued it and now I'm sad. You guys put a wax, which I'm not too fond of waxes. I haven't tried it yet, I'll try it, but I really like brow gel. So Avon, if you're watching, Betty Palm, please bring back the brow gel. Do the brow gel and the wax. There are two types of, you know, women in this world when it comes to eyebrow grooming. There are the ladies that like the gel and there are the ladies that like the wax. And so Avon, have both so you can keep everyone happy, right? Thumbs up. I know, right, Lula? Thumbs up, I'm telling you. So I'm gonna put that aside. So now I'm going to do contouring and highlighting because I absolutely love Avon's True Color contour and highlighting stick is that what it's called yes transforming contour stick i've got their true color transforming contour stick and this is in deep i waited a long time for this i um oh wait and i have it in medium too i'm actually going to be using both of these i'm going to be using the one in medium and the one in deep Doo -doo 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 -doo. um i should have ordered these when they first came out and I didn't. I was like, oh, yeah, 
I don't get it. It'll be there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big mistake. These sold out. I think these were released in campaign, I want to say seven or eight. And they remained sold out till like campaign 11 or 12. I had to wait months to get this. And I'll tell you why it's worth it. Totally. So if contouring and highlighting is not already a part of your makeup routine, add it. It's very simple. Um, it is um, a technique or an advanced makeup technique that plays with the way light hits your face. Um, and so you're creating the illusion of depth and shadows on your face because when you contour, what you wanna do is you wanna recede the areas of, of your face that you wanna take attention away from and you want to highlight or bring out the areas of that your face that you want to bring attention to. Also contouring and highlighting is a great technique because it allows you to almost like sculpt your face, almost like um, a painter or an artist. And so all you're doing is putting shadows and light on your face to give it dimension. So I have very oily skin and so you can see I haven't done any contouring and I haven't done any highlighting and already if you just look at my face, you'll see that there's white here, there's white here, there's looks like there's white here, white here, here and here and around here. So these are the areas of my face where light is naturally hitting. And then if I turn my cheek to the side, you'll see, um, I've got a really dark shadow there. Oh, wow. That's a really dark shadow. Oh, is that my makeup? Or is that lighting in here? Hold on, you guys. Let me do some real quick blending. Oh no, that's just, that's just the lighting in here. Ooh, wow, okay. You can already see that there's a natural shadow here from my lighting, a natural shadow here. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to exaggerate that so that let's say I go into a room where the lighting isn't as good, it still looks like there's lighting hitting my face, highlighting the areas of the, my face that I want to accentuate and then receding or bringing back um, the areas of my face where I don't wanna to draw too much attention to. So the first place I like to contour with the contour stick is my cheekbones. And I just make little dots. I go right down my cheekbone and make little dots. See my little line? And I do it on here, here, under my jaw. I told you guys I was gonna contour there. Um, kind of like around my hairline. And then down my nose, down the bridge of my nose. And then what I do is I take my trusty, trusty, hi Sharon, hey girl, say something. Um, I take my trusty synthetic blending brush. Sharon, are you at work? <laughs> you watching while you're at work? And I'm just gonna blend this in. And I blend it by stippling. Cause you wanna blend it in, but you don't wanna completely rub it out. So I'm stippling and in a gentle circular motion, just blending that in. Because you just want your face to look defined. You don't want it to look like you've contoured your face, you know. And this gentle stippling and circling motion helps blend in my contour. There we go, see? And blend your contour in as much as you like. Um, so there are some women that like a very dramatic contour. Don't blend in as much, leave it like that. Uh, me, I like to blend my contour in because I want it to be natural. There we go. I don't know if you could, I don't know if that's an oxymoron, like natural looking contour. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? And then gently. Bum, 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 bum. And good. And now I'm just going to do a bridge of my noses. And this is a great technique if you have a nose that's, that's wide. You've got like a wide nose, you can contour your nose. And I'll give it dimension and slim it down. So that is contouring in a nutshell. Now I'm going to highlight, and to highlight I'm going to use the medium transforming contour stick because I like the highlight on this, it's really nice. And so what you do when you're highlighting is you apply your highlight to the areas of your face that you wanna 
bring attention to or add some light. So you can see the light's already touching my cheekbone and I'm just going to follow that. I'm gonna follow the light and do my cheekbones and then I'm gonna do a line down my nose. Boop, 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 boop. I love highlighting my brow bone a little bit in the middle of my forehead and a little bit on my chin. And I just do little dots. And then I'm gonna blend that in. It's much easier, I found, to blend highlight, I guess because it's a lighter color, than to blend in your contour. But get it blended up. Good. How's work, Sharon? How you doing? Thank you for joining my team. We're gonna have fun. And there you have it. Some women will highlight their cupid's bow. I've never done that before. I already have like really big lips, but some women will like highlight their little cupid bow right there and just blend that in. I'm gonna dab with my finger. And ta-da, that's it. So now I'm going to apply my blush and what I've learned how to do for a long lasting blush is to layer cream and then a powder. So I have Avon's True Color Crushed Berry Blush and I'm going to run it along my cheekbone. So my contour is here, my highlight is here, you want your blush to go in the middle. You want your blush to go right down the middle. And then I'm going to put a little bit on the apple. And I'm going to do the same thing on the side. Do -do, do -do, do -do. And a little bit on the apple on my cheek. And I'm going to take my blush brush and just soften that. Blending is your best friend. The one thing I love about makeup is that it's not permanent. And if you make a mistake, um, you can fix it. You can easily fix it. Um, don't be afraid of makeup. Um, you can't do anything to your face with makeup that you wouldn't be able to fix with just some soap and water and eye makeup remover. So once I apply my cream blush, I now set it with my powder blush. And so my powder blush is going to be, what color are you? Plum Pop. And it's really pretty and it's also got like a nice shimmer in it. So this is Avon's True Color Powder Blush and plum pop and what you do is you put your brush in and you gently you look great thank you thank you I'm adjusting to my short hair thank you you tap it and then I gently pat it over where I put my cream blush that helps my cream blush down um, gives it longevity and just blend 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 out any harsh lines you can see here my contours here highlights here blush is there just a little bit on the apple of my cheek boom done I think I want to blend that out just a little bit more so I'm gonna get my big old powder brush and just blend 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 there you go hear my daughter in the background she's playing so now that my face is done, I want to set my face with some loose powder. I've just got some translucent powder. And I'm putting it down on the table because if I hold it up, powder is going to get everywhere, you guys. And I tap the powder off. Go. And quiet. That's my little dog. We're alive. And so the best thing about powder is one, it sets your makeup, but two, if you have really oily skin like me, because my skin is crazy oiling. Um, it diffuses the light. So when you have oily skin like me and the light hits your skin and it's oily, it's like instant reflection, it's like a mirror. And it's super, super shiny. And so powder is really important when you have oily skin. Because it'll absorb that oil and keep you from looking like a strobe light. So one of the things I carry around, I don't have it on me, wait, I do. 
I have oily skin. Um, one of the things I carry around is Avon's pressed powder. This is my, my bag. My purse is right here. I just went and grabbed it. And I carry, this is Avon's Flawless Mattifying Press Powder. Hey, hey little dog. Shh, it's my little dog. And that's Avon's, it's just a translucent powder with a little puff and you tup, 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 tup. And nice to know I'm not the only one that takes my puppy with me. He's under the bed. I think the UPS guy must be here or our mailman is here and he's just, He's barking up a storm. My big dog is downstairs, but he doesn't make noise like the little one does. The little one's got like a complex. He has to bark at everything. But yeah, my house is full of animals and my daughter. So now that my face is done, I'm going to work on my eyes and I'm going to use the On the Vines palette because it was requested. And so that's this here. It's really, really pretty. I really like it. Green is a great complementary color if you have brown eyes. If you have brown eyes, blues, green, um, mauves, purple is really nice. Let me show you um, a palette I just bought. I'm going to do a tutorial on it. Where is it? Oh no, what did I do with it? Oh, here it is. It's right here in front of me. Ah. Okay, this is Avon's Steel Blues. This just came in. It's really pretty. A gorgeous blue. Check that out. Mm -hmm. You can get a nice smoky eye with that one. So I'm going to be doing a tutorial with that. And then this one is Romantic Mauve. Hey, Phoebe! Shh. You're alive, dude. He's really obnoxious. Oh, this is pretty. Wow, I didn't look at it. Look how pretty that is. Yeah, so when you've got brown eyes, um, mobs, purples, greens, blues. They're your best friend. So the first thing I'm going to do for my eye makeup is I'm going to set the stage by using Avon's True Color Eye Primer. And if you do not use a primer, get one. You love it. Love blue anything? You and me both. That's why I had to have this. I love blue. It's like my favorite color. I wish I could show you my vanity. It was like just a regular wooden color and I got some chalk paint and I painted it blue. My vanity is blue. So you can tell I'm using that. I really like primer, eye primer. Um, it helps your eye makeup stay down, but also on a regular day, if you don't feel like wearing any eye makeup and you apply the eye primer, it just helps cover up any imperfections. So if you've got um, like veins, if your eyes are really veiny, things like that, it just covers it up. It's wonderful. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna put on my lid color. And I know this is labeled one, two, three, and four, but I'm a rebel, I'm not gonna follow that. I'm going to go into three, which is this color here. I'm gonna take my brush, tap it into three, tap it off, and it's going on my lid. And I just pat, 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 pat. He's barking because here's my daughter downstairs. So again, I'm going to go and take color number three. And this is the On The Vines palette. Tap it and just pat it on the outer three-fourths of my lid. There we go. And that color was a little bit more saturated than this one. So I'm going to come back over here a little bit more. Awesome, 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 awesome. Now, I'm going to take color number two and I'm going to get my soft brush. I love blue and anything. And I'm going to go in to color number two, tap it, and put it on the inner corner of my eye. And just pat it and work it into the green and what that does when you work it into the darker green is it gives it like a nice gradient fade you get um, a horizontal ombre effect that's like the best way I can describe it is getting a horizontal ombre effect and pat 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 
You can use your pinky. If your hands are a little bit shaky, you can take your pinky finger, rest it on your cheek, and pat, and that pinky help, kind of help, keeps everything together, helps everything stay put. This nice dark color here, number four, is what I'm going to put in the outer corner of my eye. So what I'm gonna do is I have a liner brush, and you can tell I've been using it to smudge eyeliner because it's good and dirty, see? It's good and dirty. I love smudging brushes. And I'm gonna dip this into four. And make sure that when you use small brushes like this, you tap off the excess really well, or else it's gonna fall down underneath your eyes and ruin your, uh, ruin your concealer. And what I'm doing with this, is this going in the outer corner of my eye. And I'm just making a little, a little V right in the corner of my eye and working it a little bit into my crease. Same thing on this side. I'm going into four, tapping it off, and it's going, I'm making a little V. It's going right to the corner of my eye. Yay. Now, what I want to do next is I want to define my crease. So, I need a nice brown. I'll be right back. Gotta get my brown. And I'm just going to take my crease brush and I'm just gonna grab a brown, any color brown. I'll use, what brown am I gonna use? Hmm. I'll use this brown here. Just a plain, good old fashioned brown for blending in your crease. Put a little bit on my crease brush, tap it off. And I'm gonna go into my crease and define my crease. And this also helps bring all three of those colors together. This is also a form of contouring. You're contouring the crease of your eye. If you wanna know what the crease of your eye is, all it is is your, your socket bone. So if you've ever seen like a skeleton or a skull, those hollows, the eyes, that's just your bone. That's your eye socket bone. And so if you take your finger and you feel, you'll feel that bone, that empty hollow. And so your crease is the top of that bone, and you can feel it. You can feel the top of your eye socket, the bone, that's your crease. So when you go to apply contouring to your crease, that's where you wanna put it. And it's, it's at a different spot for everyone because we all have different anatomy. And so you don't wanna look at someone's video and put your crease color where they're putting theirs, you'll look crazy. If you ever wanna know how to find your crease, just take your finger, and feel for your bone, your brow bone's up here, and then if you go down, you'll feel that bone right here. And that's where your, that's where your crease color goes. So that one eye is done. I'm gonna go, and we're gonna go into the crease of the other eye, and we're just gonna blend all the colors together. And then that brown adds depth, and blends all your greens. Now, I do not bring my contouring of my crease of my eye, hi. How are you, Rosa? Look, Rosa, I'm making the tutorial. Hola, como esta? I'm doing the makeup tutorial that you asked because my eyes are small. And so if you have small eyes like me or you have close set eyes, you don't wanna bring your contour all the way across your eye. You just wanna bring it to the outer part of your eye, like the outer three fourths. If you bring it all the way in, it's gonna close your eye off. Now, let's say you have wide set eyes or you have really big eyes, then that's something you can do. You can bring your, your contour color all the way around because it's, it's gonna help close your eyes down a bit, make them look smaller. And if you have wide set eyes, it's almost gonna like bring your eyes together. So it's also really important to know like the shape of your eye and things like that. If they're wide set, if they're close set, if they're almond shaped, that lets you know what type of techniques you should be using for your eye makeup. So you, we can all use the same colors, but it's just, it's application. Everyone's going to have a different application technique according to their eye shape, their face shape, their nose shape, their lip shape, things like that. So I'm now going to do our final color, which is number one. 
And this is a highlighting color. It's a really, really, it's bright white. So I don't want to use too much because it is a shimmery, shimmery white. And it is beautiful. I'm going to tap it off and I'm going to highlight under my brow bone and just gently pat, 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 pat. Oh, that is pretty. Wow. It's a gorgeous pearlescent color. I mean, it's really pretty. Tap it off and go into that brow bone. And see, this is why you want to conceal under your eyebrow and you want to prime your eye because this white pearlescent color I can now apply to my skin. I've got nice dark caramel skin. And so putting on the base, putting on the primer, putting on gives me a nice base to apply this. You can't take a light, bright, bright color like this and put it on a skin tone that's really, really deep without first applying a base. It's it's just gonna look, it's gonna look too bright, it's gonna look too stark, it's gonna look crazy. My battery is dying so I have to go charge up. I know, I have mine plugged up. And actually, I'll tell you a secret real quick, Lula. This is actually the second time I'm recording this video. The first time I recorded this video, my phone wasn't charged and it shut off on me halfway through. So this is actually my second time creating this video. I'm making sure that my phone is charged and it's plugged up. This is my little plug and I'm on a roll. So I'm actually almost done. So go for it, girl. Charge it up and I'll see you on the replay. Thanks for joining me. And so... That's how you wanna apply light, light colors. Definitely give yourself a base first. So now this is going to go into the inner corner of my eye. I'm gently, gently pat that in. Pat, 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 pat. With makeup, you wanna do a little at a time because it's, it's easier to layer, 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 and add, than to put too much and have to now try to take it away. So you'll notice that when I apply my makeup, I always do, I do a little bit at a time, and gently, gently. It's easier to build than to try to take away when it, when it comes to makeup, without a doubt. So I'm going to use my fingers and gently blend that in. And that is the color portion of this palette. This is the On The Vines palette. That's the color portion of it. Um, you will find this. This is actually, this is still available in um, Campaign 17. And so if you want to pick this up, Campaign 17 is live now. It's the Avon True Color Matte Eyeshadow Quad and On the Vine. Really good. So the next thing I'm gonna do now is I'm going to line my eyes. And I love Avon True Color Always On Point Eyeliner, and I'm just gonna do it in a nice black. Just good old fashioned black liner. And I pull my eye taut. And I line in my lash line. It is a technique called tight lining. And what I do is I keep the eyeliner as close. Hey Amanda, how are you sweetie? I keep the eyeliner um, as close to my lash line as possible. Almost, I'm almost like rubbing it into my lash line. And what that does when you, when you tight line is, um, it just makes your eyelash, looks it look like you have like a thicker eyelashes, longer eyelashes, see? this lash eye tight line this one I didn't you see the difference and so if you're really busy and you don't feel like having to do a cat eye because let me tell you guys I still haven't mastered that cat eye like it takes forever to get that wing just right and you're going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth so what I do is I just tight line and um, I call it a day if any of you ladies have a trick to getting um, the perfect cat eye like I'm all ears. Tell me, tell me, tell me. I am all ears. So I just tight line and make sure, I like to make sure that my eyes are symmetrical. And there you go. There you have it. Are they symmetrical? 
I hope they're symmetrical, you guys. Okay, good. So the next thing I do, because I have short, stubby lashes, I like to curl my eyelashes. So I've got my eyelash curler. It looks like torture, but it's not. Trust me. And I start at the base, and I squeeze and work my way up. There's one eye. I start at the base, and I squeeze and work my way up. If you're like me, and you've got like short, stubby little lashes, curling your lashes is one of the best things you can do because it helps open up your helps open up your eyes. Especially if your eyelashes grow downward and they like cover your eye. When you curl your eyelashes, it brings them upward and it helps open up your eye. So my mascara of choice is the Avon True Color. Super nourishing, what is this? Super extend nourishing mascara. Love it. And I don't know if you guys noticed if you use this mascara, it smells like it has like a nice cucumber melon smell. <laughs> Did you guys notice that? It smells like, like cucumber. It's awesome. So I am just applying one coat and I'll tell you why. I'm gonna let you in on a secret. I have eyelash envy. I can't wait to get my eyelash serum in. I, I just ordered it, I can't wait. I'm going to take a picture, I'm gonna do the whole before and after testimonial, like the whole bit. Trust me, I can't wait. And what I do is I take my Avon brush, it's got a spoolie on one end, and it's got a brow brush on the other, and I take the spoolie and I separate my eyelashes. I make sure there's no lumps, I make sure there's no clumps, I make sure I don't have any issues. And now for my secret, because I love eyelashes so much, I've invested in um, magnetic eyelashes um, because before that I was having eyelash extensions done and they are very expensive. Any of you ladies who have had eyelash extensions done, you guys know how much they cost. They cost a lot of money. And so for what it cost me to get one eyelash extension refill, I got a set of magnetic eyelashes by One Two Cosmetics. I absolutely adore them. Um, they're great if you want the long eyelash look, but you don't want to have to pay for eyelash extensions. They're great. Um, they're cost effective. They're great if you're allergic to the glue. Some people are allergic to that eyelash glue, whether it be for the eyelash extensions or whether it be just for the eyelashes that go on and then take off. Um, some people, their body just doesn't like it. Um, so these eyelash extensions, I absolutely love. Um, I've had these for, I would say about seven months now. You, you use them, they're reusable. They have instructions on um, how to clean them and how to apply them and how to remove them. It takes a little bit of practice, but once you get it down, let me tell you, it's the best thing ever. So I'm going to do my right eye first, and this is the last strip. And you can see that little black piece is actually a magnet. It's a magnet. And this is the bottom piece here. You can see it. It's so blurry, I'm sorry guys. So I'm gonna look in this mirror here because this is the mirror that I use to apply my eyelash extensions. It's a magnifying mirror over here. So I'm sorry if I'm like, get way up in your face, but you literally just apply it to your top lash line. Wait a minute. There we go. So those went on my top lash line. Then you take your bottom one and that's it. It's sticking up. I know it looks a little bit crazy. Hang on. I pull it down and get the other bottom piece on. No, come back. We're live, you guys. It's crazy. This is live. Come on. Get on there. Get on there. Come together. Yay. And just adjust it. And that's it. On. It's on. Magnetic eyelashes. If you want to take them off, all you do is you pinch it and slide the two magnets apart done right I know incredible so I'm going to apply my other set on this eye and they literally just snap together 
so cool. So one, two cosmetics. And these eyelashes, I believe, there they go, they're on. Magnetic eyelashes. Um, they're by one, two cosmetics. And I think you can buy, there's like different styles. So this is, believe it or not, the natural. This is the natural style. They've got ones that are even longer and thicker and more dramatic, but this is their natural. And I believe it's about $70 for one pair that can last you like six months. Then they have a partial set. Um, let me show you what my partial set looks like. Hang on guys, I'll grab it. Let me grab the partial set. Okay. So that, I'm wearing the full set. This is the partial set and it, it's just for the corners and you get two pairs. So this lasts even longer. Um, and then, like I said before, when I'm ready to take them off, I just pinch it together and slide them off. So last, but certainly not least, I'm gonna do my lips and I'm just gonna do a natural um, lip. I will tell you guys, I absolutely these Avon True Color lip glosses. They, Avon has outdone themselves with these lip glosses, let me tell you. And if you have not tried them, I still don't know what you're waiting for. I can't help you if you haven't tried them. These are the four that I have right now. Um, I'm still waiting for some of them to come back. Um, they like sold out so quickly. This is Light Burst. This is Spark Beautiful afterglow and this is lit i want astrea i'm still waiting for astrea to come back and i think there's one other i'm i'm waiting to come back they just sold out like hotcakes so what i'm gonna do is just a nice natural lip and um for my ladies of color i'm gonna show you a trick so you see my lips are two different shades this one is pink and this one is like a darker pink or like a darker brown and so when you apply lipsticks if you have lips that are two different colors sometimes your lipstick doesn't quite look right doesn't act right so what you can do as an awesome 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 trick is take a foundation shade that's a little bit lighter than what you're wearing this is like caramel this is the shade that I was over the winter I guess spring and you really only need a little bit you just need like a touch of foundation. This is if you have lips that are different col different colors and you want to like even out your lip color. I don't wanna use too much because you really only need like a little bit. And what you do is you take the foundation and you put it on your lips. What it does is, this acts like a primer for your lips. And what it does is it kind of like brings your lips closer to the same color if that I don't know I don't know how to explain it but now my lips look more like they're one color instead of being like two different colors and it provides a great 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 primer this is my glimmer stick lip liner and chocolate and I'm going to line inside my lips with a nice feathering motion. I've got big lips, so I don't line outside my lips. Um, if you like plumping up your lips, um, someone please do a tutorial to show how like you line your lips and plump them up and the whole bit. Like that'd be awesome. Um, but as for me, I already got big lips, so they don't need anything extra, trust me. And then with nice light feathering motions, I'm going to kind of bring that around. I want to leave the center of my lip open. And that's also another method of contouring and highlighting is you can actually do it on your lip. And so what you do, if you want your lips to look fuller, is you just line Gently line the outside. Wow, bag, Lula, that was quick. Um, and you wanna blend this line. Some women blend it by just pressing their lips together. If you don't wanna do that, you can take a lipstick brush 
and gently soften the line with a lipstick brush. There you go, take your lipstick brush, soften up that line. Then I'm going to take Avon's True Color, their new lip gloss in Light Burst. And on it goes. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it. This is the makeup that I wear when I'm online chit-chatting with you guys. Love it. Thank you. Do a tutorial, Lula. Did you see the palettes I picked out? I did a steel blue one. Yeah, you did because you said you love blue. Do a steel blue one. We'll do like a collaboration. I do this look, you do that look. I do this look, you do that look. But this is Avon's um, Matte Eyeshadow Quad on the Vines. This is a uh, plum pot blush. I use the contouring stick. So pretty much everything I did was Avon. Avon's got great, great, great makeup. Too shy, but working on it. I'm shy too, and I was actually really nervous to, to put myself on video and put myself out there, but just do it. And then you get used to it. You, seriously, like look at me. Look, I have my little braces on. I've got... See, I'm fixing my teeth. So I've got my Invisalign braces on. They give me a lisp. They make me move my mouth funny. I sound like I've got marbles in my mouth. I just cut like all my hair. I'm I'm totally bald, I swear to you. Like a couple months ago, I had hair like down here. But then this heat, I just, I had to cut it. So I've got braces, I'm bald, and I'm on Facebook Live. It's It's all good, girl. Just do it. Just do it. Where are you from? Are you in North Carolina, Lula? Because if you're in North Carolina, you should uh, DM me and like, let's get together. But if not, we can be Avon Facebook buddies. That's cool. That'd be a lot of fun. So I lost track of time. It's probably four o'clock already. Everyone's probably like on the Avon USA representative live video watching, watching, you know, what's going on. And I'm just gonna stroll in there late, like a late student. Um, Con oh, Concord, you're close. Were you at the sales meeting at Concord when I was there? Probably, I bet, that's awesome. I can't wait to meet you, trust me. Um, I will get all the intel for you um, at RepFest. I'm super excited, now I can take a nap. I have done everything that needs to be done. And now that I'm done with my makeup tutorial, I can pet my makeup now and like take a nap. Yes, you sat beside me. Hey, hey, you see how bad my memory is, Lula? I'm the worst, I'm sorry, please forgive me. But yeah, we should um, get together for coffee. Um, so if you have any questions for me about like making videos and, and like the tech that you need because you just need a little bit of tech that's it um you want to invest in like an extra long cord so this is like an extra long charging cord to make sure that your phone doesn't die um you want to invest in uh, a microphone like a little lapel mic because your iphone mic just isn't enough um, I don't have my lens on. When I do my unboxing videos and when I do my product videos, I do have special lenses that I use, wide angle lenses so that you can see more of my background and then, then you can see like the product that I'm holding up. So you just need some wide angle lenses. Um, I do need to buy a light. I do need to get a light, but they sell like really cool halo lights for lighting, a tripod. I wish I could show you, but my, my camera's on a, on a tripod. Here, let me see if I can show you. Look, see, see the little tripod? Look in the mirror, see the little tripod that it's on? You get you like a little tripod, get your lighting, um, microphone, and you're good to go. And there are some people that do their videos and they don't even have that. So, hey, you know, um, hold down the fort for us while we're at Rep Fest. Thank you so much for joining me today. I had so much fun. It took me forever to do this makeup tutorial. I'm so sorry it took me so long, you guys. Um, there will be more. Um, I will be back from Rep Fest Sunday night. So I'm going to be back up and in the game 
first thing Monday morning. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. Um, it's been a pleasure. Love working with you guys. Thank you so much for being the best part of my small business. I'll see you all at Rep Fest. Bye.